now we are ready for the very final bout of the evening. So we are looking at that. It's going to be a flyweight contest over six rounds. We have some few minutes to go for the very final bout of the evening. We want to thank everybody for being part of this wonderful day. We also want to thank our sponsors, the Luxy Paint, Paint Mode Champion, Renault, Premium Motors Limited. We're talking about Max Vi, TCL, Techno, and IMAX Electronics. They've been very, very fantastic. And we are still inviting companies, organizations to join us because now the league is one of the best things that is happening in Africa, not only in Ghana. So when you come and join us, you will have the mileage. So you are welcome. We have the very final bout to go. Flower contest over six round between Eric Colley and Joseph Akai Nete. So we wait for the two boxers to join us in the ring. These are two boxers who are going to be wrapping up fight night 15 for us. Flyweight contest scheduled for six rounds. Eric Corley from Panics. He is coming up against the national champion, Joseph Akainete. Akainete is representing the Charles Quarty Boxing Foundation. Before the two boxers join us in the ring, let me have a quick chit chat with uh, Mubarak. Future looks good for Ghana boxing. He's seen a lot of the quality. He has already mentioned that John Quay will be getting us uh, a world title in the shortest possible time. What kind of opportunities has IMAX Media Promotions given uh, the development of boxing through this uh, Deluxe Professional Boxing League? We have seen a lot of the young boxers who have the potential. Yeah, first of all, I'll say thank you to IMAX Media again. Uh, them bringing this league at least has really helped us. First, we have a lot of promoters which they've been helping as well, which is uh, uh, box office promotions. They've been doing their promotions which we helping. But I think uh, Max TV is doing so well because through Max TV we've generated uh, uh, up and coming uh, boxes which they are better, they, they are good at least to take us to the world. Someone like Michael Tete, the last time he fought on the league with a requirement, he was so good. Uh, at least to extend that, it, it give us the round of our money. Well, in the ring now is the current bantamweight champion that we have in this country. That's Joseph Akainet, uh, uh, flyweight, light now, flyweight we have champion. Boxer, uh, Let's welcome the boxer from the Panics Boxing Gymnasium, Eric Colley. We are going to be taking a look at. Uh, Kainete very soon, one of the potentials. But from this 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 season, the Luxury Professional Boxing League. How many boxers have you seen that have shown that we have the potential? When we get the help, we can go forward. Honestly, I can't really tell because we've seen a lot of boxers, so I, I can't even call her number. Honestly, and then like likes of Jokwe, Michael Tete. The Cardinal scene, Daniel Gosh, like so, so, so many boxes have come on the league. Every Saoga, nobody knows him. But through this league, at least, he has also got to where he's supposed to go to. Ali Dusuleman from Black Panther. Akainete, he's fighting, but this league too has been projecting him. This same Eric Foley, he also been fighting. And, but through, uh, through this league, at least, people will be getting to know him more and more. Wow. So obviously, viewers, the, the future looks good. The future looks bright. The uh, GBA, together with the promoters, matchmakers, the gyms, they are working hard to produce the quality that can raise high the flag of Ghana in the very near future. But I'm sure that for those of you in the boxing fraternity, you will need a lot of support. Yeah, for sure. And, and let me say thank you to my boss once again, Joe Bronya. The last time I, I overheard you, you were talking about him. When Michael Tete was fighting, he was having this Bronya boxing uh, fans. And you were asking, why Bronya boxing? And, and my colleague over here explained it to you. Uh, through the boxing league, Joe Bronya traveled all the way from Netherlands to come to Ghana here, at least to come and watch it. And honestly, he picked from where Michael Tete and other boxes. But unfortunately, uh, I must like overcome uh, 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 Jogonia at least to, to get okay. this down. So okay. currently, Michael Tete is under Jogonia boxing, which we are working on staff at least to put some papers and everything down so we can sign him and we're sponsoring him. Well, viewers, all we need to do is to put our hands on deck 
and to ensure that we help out our boxing gyms, our boxing promoters, for sure, our boxing matchmakers. They need a lot of help and support. They obviously cannot do it alone. But you and I out there are crying for the next Azuma Nelson. Yeah. We are crying for the next Aikwote. We are crying for the next Alfred Kubra Kote. The list is endless. We are crying for the next Nanaya Kunedu Mablos. But we would also have to play our part. And so we've started with the Deluxe Professional Boxing League. Let's all come on board. Let's start raising Commonwealth champions, African champions, intercontinental world champions, world champions. And I'm sure that it would not be money put to waste or put to shame. IMAX Media Promotions have started and I'm sure there's a lot that we can do to yeah, also for sure. support. And I think, and I, I think that one it, it will help us because we have uh, the, like quality boxes, we have better boxes in Ghana here, but the support is not there. So sometimes we may find it difficult to get to the top. If, if, if you look at uh, Richard Comey, uh, through uh, 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 Michael Bedea group, he was able to get to where he's supposed to get because he tried possible best at least to push the guy to the world level. So I think by uh, uh, the viewers, you supporting us with your, the, the little you have can get us to the world level. The world level is the target, viewers. And don't forget, we spoke about this on Fight Night 15. Let's all put our hands on deck. There are companies that are willing to come on board. I'm sure you can also join the train. Last fight of the evening is a six-round fight. Flyweight contest, we've been told. Eric Colley and Joseph Akai and Nete. Eric Colley is representing Panics. Joseph Akai Nete representing Charles, Charles Quarty. Nana, you were with me during the uh, weigh-in 24 hours earlier. And you saw, for want of a better word, the braggadocio that went on, especially Joseph Akai Nete. And one thing I got to learn, both of them started around the same time. They've been through the amateur ranks. They find themselves at the professional level. Um, this fight, the two titles that Akinete holds are not on the line. What is on the line tonight? Uh, the bragging rights. The bragging right to say, I am the best in that division regardless of a title or not that is what is at stake and 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 you have massive fan bases soldiering fan bases chanting behind these two boxes and uh, the states cannot get higher than this this is something else the crowd are in a frenzy and both boxes are locked in i can see matchmaker and manager Otu Mangola in the corner of Eric Colley. Otu Mangola is one of the top, top, top matchmakers in Ghana and across Africa. And he is in the corner of uh, Eric Colley. And uh, Akanete is from the Charles Quote Foundation. This bad prince promises to be a cracker. I, I, am, I am not too happy that there is no title, but for the bragging rights alone, it's enough to see fireworks on this fight night. I mean, Lamte will take us through the official introductions. Also, so this is the moment all of us are waiting for. This is the time all of us are anticipating. And this is the main event of the evening. And this is the flyweight contest of our six rounds and officials for this world. We have Judge One, Confidence Siago. Judge two, me Mensa Akako, and Judge three, Rasmus Owl. Now introducing the boxer fighting out from the blue corner, and this is one of the finest boxes Ghana has really produced in recent time. It's one of the discoveries in recent time from the blue corner, and this evening is spotted in the white, red, green, yellow trunks with black shoe and red gloves to match. This is the man with the weight of 110 pounds from the just got a boxing foundation under the tutelage of one of the finest boxing trainers, Charles Cote. This is a man with the official record of seven fight, no defeat, no draw, seven wins. Three of the wins came by way of knockout. Presenting to you 
the man who is currently the national flower champion of Ghana, Joseph Nati. Switching over to the red corner. And this is another boxer who has never tasted defeat in his career from the Panics Boxing Gymnasium under the tutelage of one of the finest boxing trainers Ghana has ever produced, Coach Ye. This is the man with the weight of 111 pounds. This is the man with the official record of seven fights, no defeat, no draw, seven wins, all the wins came by way of knockout, presenting to you the boxer, Ari And the man in charge of this fight is Shadrach Akwain, the technical director of Ghana Boxing Authority. And he claimed fight, and he must obey my instructions. Shake hands, and good luck to both of you. And Akai Nete Joseph. Confidence in Agbe, may mention Akakwa and Erasmus O are the judges at ringside. Round one. Here we go. Now, viewers, I only need you to sit back and relax and enjoy this bout. This bout is between two boxers who entered the boxing ranks around the same time. Talking about Eric Colley. Eric Colley is the taller of the two boxers in the predominant white trunks with the uh, blue and red and the national champion Akainete is in the white trunks with the national colors to match Akai actually also holds the RBO version of the flyweight belt and right from the onset you can see the game plan of boot boxes uh, Kole is looking to fight from a distance while uh, uh, Akanete, you can see he wants to work the body and gradually wear down his opponent. Let's see how he pans out. These are two boxers we've been told are very good in their category. And so it will be very difficult to separate the two. Let's see how it goes. It's just round one. As Kali tries to penetrate the guard of uh, Akanete. It yeah, looks like uh, Eric Kole is not ready to allow Akai to come and fight on the inside. He wants to keep him at bay, fight behind the jab. Solid uppercut to Akanete. The rivalry between these two boxers obviously clear that this should this this I'm not surprised that it is not the uh, pick of the pack for fight night 15. Unfortunately, praise, the national title is not at stake. A praise uh, Eric Cole is a southpaw, so he comes in with those jumping right hands that Akai that comes on the blind side of Akai Nete. This, this, and, and Akanete is a, is a boxer who is able to fight both as an orthodox and also as a southpaw. Well, we bumped into these two boxers during the weigh in 24 hours earlier, and all were eager beavers. To perform tonight. It's a quick yeah, one there from uh, Akai Nete. Goes into the corner, dishes out a couple of uh, punches, but the bell to the rescue and the fans love it. Brings the bigger punches have come from Akai Nete. He has landed the bigger punches, the more crisp punches, but definitely Kole uh, uh, has also done immensely well. Very, very difficult uh, route to call.
but both boxers command large fan bases, large fan armies who are rooting endlessly at the Bokum Boxing Arena. It is the, the largest professional boxing league. Eric Colley of Panics against Akainete of Charles Quarty. Very tactical fight so far. Round. Let's get ready for the second round of this fight. It's scheduled for six rounds. And straight away, both boxers will continue from where they left off in the first. Now let's keep a close eye on the the swiftness, the fastness of Akainete. The prince, if 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 Akainete does not fight in a more aggressive manner, Eric Colley might run away with a point victory. He has to be more aggressive. He has to force the fight to happen on the inside because when they fight on the outside and Colley fights behind that jab, it is difficult uh, for. Uh, Akai to come in. There he lands a big right hand and goes into a clinch. Quick as a flash, Akai Nete would keep the momentum on Kole. Akole will fight back. Kole knows he's fighting against the champion. Not only the uh, national champion, but the RBO champion as well. So the he ring. needs... The ring awareness of Kole is very commendable. Very, very quick reflexes. Very sharp. But Akarete comes in. Wow. This fight will be close. We're very close to call at this point. But again, and just like uh, I had a chat with Mubarak and he was saying, these are some of the qualities that we can boast of, you know, in the uh, country. And Mubarak, you, 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 you gave us clear indication that this fight is going to be tough. Are you surprised at what we've seen so far? Oh yeah, honestly, because I thought I thought uh, both bosses would be fighting well, but it's like Akainete is, is so aggressive than Eric Kole. But Eric Kole is also using his jabs as well. He's using the, the jabs very well. Yeah, so there is a room for improvement. So let, let's see what might happen. It's just the second round out of a scheduled six rounder, and so far so good. Southport nature of uh, Kole. I'm sure we'll probably give Akainete a couple of difficulties in trying to hit his target, but he does well with that punch from the left. And one thing about Akainete is he can he can fight both Orthodox and Southport as well. Well, Charles Quarter is leading the league table. And I'm sure that they would want to score a few extra uh, points before Fight Night 15 comes to an end. Fans are solidly behind the two boxers. Getting ready to go into the third round. And again, uh, Sam, how, how close was the second round? The second round was very, very close. You see both boxers uh, being very, very active and landing a similar number of punches. Uh, none was ready to give grounds to the other. And uh, this fight, I am just praying that our judges will give us fair scoring because uh, I was not too impressed with the scoring for the Felix Nunu against Azma Mohamed about. Not very pleased with that, very honestly. We're into the third round. And it's the national champion. Oh, 
solid and quick response from Akainete. Now he needs to open up to see whether he can get a couple of uh, points. The difference between the two is that Akainete is quick and fast. Brings the intense focus in the eyes of the two boxers. Very, very focused. Very, very locked in. Very vigilant and ring savvy. Close shave it is now as they go in close fighting. The intensity obviously there. But it's Akainete who would want to take advantage to make some inroads through the guard of uh, Eric Colley. Into the corner now, a couple of punches to the body of uh, Colley. Lovely body shots and a quick return by Colley. Looks like at this point, Kole is having the better of the exchanges. He's landing the one, two, the one, two. Solid but Akai comes back. From, uh, the clinch but that didn't work and again keeping close tabs on the two boxes is our referee Shadrach Akwe swift counter punching from Akainete looks like Kole is tiring a bit Very close fight, but a tough fight indeed. Mubarak, let me come to you. And after the first rounds that you've seen, what is your assessment? Uh, for now, I can say Akainete is leading by points. But not, not all that, a big margin, but just some close points. Yeah, because it's like uh, Eric Colley is, is feeling a little bit tired. If, 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 if you watch him, he steps and stuff. Yeah, but I think maybe at the fourth round he can come back. So yeah. let's still watch and see what might happen. I, I get I get an indication, I may be wrong, but I get a clear indication that uh, the national champion Akainete does a lot of gym work, a lot of training. Is that true? Yeah, for sure, yeah. Honestly, almost every day. Sometimes uh, early in the morning, if you're going to run with John Kui, if I'm going to run with the John Kui, yeah. I will be seeing him. He wow. also ran, uh, running. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so viewers, we move into the fourth round. It's still close to call, though, at this stage. The jabs for Kole, for now, is expected to do the trick of keeping uh, Akainete at bay. Oh, that was a big one. Nearly rattled the champion. Quick one to the head of uh, Corley. And that's Nete once again trying to go in to the slug. Slug it out with his opponent.
confidence level of uh, the national champion still looks good Akai Nete and, and Akai seems to be the aggressor at this point a rabbit punch from Kole A little bit of head dragging there from uh, Kole took the caution from Shadrach Akwe. And that's a big one straight through the guard into the head of Akai Nete. And that straight left from Kole has found a home all night long. Well, viewers, it's interesting. I'm sure Sam Nana Gold has also taken notice of that. But there are too many instructions coming from the corner of the national champ. There are a lot of them who are telling him what to do. Not too sure whether he can concentrate. Yeah, the bragging rights are stake. Although... Yeah, you're quite right. A title fight, he would not like to lose to another boxer in the same division where he's supposed to be champion. End of the round. It looks good. Jubilation has started in the corner of uh, the national champion. Good body shots from uh, both boxers. Eric Collins still stands tall. Into round five we go. It's about that is going all the way through six rounds. Looks like there has been a lot of arguments, banter, and betting on this very bout. There is much at stake, and the judges better not give us a raw deal on this one. Well, after this round, we've got the last three minutes for both boxers to show exactly what they're made of and some good counter punching from uh, Nete and brings a very even fight I will not be surprised if the fight is declared a draw I will not be surprised at all very very evenly matched skill wise Conditioning output, punch output, very, very evenly matched. Well, after this bout or after this round, we still got one more to go. And everybody is paying close attention to what's transpiring. And we'll see whether which which of the styles impresses the, the judges the single punches from Kole or the flashy combinations from uh, Akainete which of these styles would impress our judges at ringside tonight Nete picking up the points as he goes. 
Collie on the back pedal for now. But still standing his ground. Prince, I'm very, very impressed with how Kole is fighting. Not many boxers are able to fight well on the back foot. But Kole is on the back foot and fighting very, very well. What a close fight. Yeah, and a point here, a point there. Akai needs to be more aggressive if he is to make a mark in this fight. Straight one to the head of uh, Akai. He recovers nicely. But finding it difficult to penetrate the guard to score more points. Into the last 10 seconds, and that's the bell for the end of the round. I mean, it, looks, it, looks, it looks like those stiff jumps and movements from Eric Colley are. Uh, those are the things that are impeding the aggressiveness and forward march of uh, Akai Neti. Akai has really had a run for his money. I wouldn't be surprised at all if the fight goes a draw. At this point, both bosses have given a very, very good account of themselves. And uh, regardless of the verdict, they should be proud of themselves. Heading into the final round, as uh, guested by our ring girl, Jackie, both boxers are still very much in contention for the win. Seconds have been asked to leave the ring as the sixth and the final round. They will touch gloves and then hostilities will begin for the next three minutes. Who reigns supreme? Very closely fought fight. For Akai Neti. Coming forward is the order of the day. Trying to cut the ring to size. Closely fought and a very keen encounter. Between these two young boxers. Prince, regardless of who wins this fight tonight, uh, these two chaps should be pushed. They have something good to offer Ghana. I couldn't agree with you more as the future of what the flyweight should look like. Fans are sitting on tenter hooks now. Good combination. The hand speed of uh, the national champion, Akai Neti. Very obvious. But in my opinion, neither of the two boxers have been really clearly dominant over the other. Very, very close fight. It will be very interesting to see how the judges scored this. It's been very close. Split decision, perhaps. Well, let's wait and see what our judges have for us. Hope it will be another heartbreak. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely wow. one. Lovely combination there. Fans love it. One to the head and then misses with the other. Oh, 
Obviously, Colley not afraid to come forward. And he's been encouraged. The, the last 10 seconds, it will be a give and take affair. And that's how we wrap up the night. Oh, what a fight. Both boxers left it to the very last couple of seconds, especially for Akai Neti. Opened up a couple of punches, and can we say Kole was met by the uh, saved by the bell? Both boxers are being carried shoulder high. The official verdict will decide. Fight night 15 has been extraordinary from start to finish. Now, Let's now patiently and wait. Men, we are getting ready for the verdicts for the very final bout of the evening. And this was an exciting bout. One of the best bouts ever since we've started the league between Eric Colley from the Panic Boxing Gym and Joseph Akai Nete from the Charles Cote Boxing Foundation. So we are now waiting for the verdicts. We will declare the verdicts and then we will all see what is going to happen. Now we we'll say thank you to our sponsors, Deluxe Paint, Paint Mood Champion, supported by Renault, Premium Motors Limited, Max by TCL Techno, and IMAX Electronics. We want to say thank you to Titi Brothers and uh, Rich Coco for what they have done for us today and every day. Let me also thank those who dressed me today. Vibeman Boutique, located at Abilene Pay Sharing Building with Morocco Fast Food Limited. Thank you very much. So now we are waiting for the verdicts. Como benatra, como benatra, como benatra, como benatra. Dada, you want it again, no, eh? You want it again, no, eh? Mofia mojado, mofia mojado, mofia mojado. If you go, mami oh mami oh, mami oh mami oh, mami oh mami oh, mami oh mami oh. Aku koko koko, aku koko koko, aku koko koi koi, na koko koko. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the verdicts. Shall we put our hands together for the two boxes? And this boxes before tonight bout to make it eight for their record none of them have ever tasted defeats seven fights no defeats and today we have a defeat in this verdicts so we now have the verdicts judge one scored about 59 to 56 judge Two scored about fifty eight to fifty seven, and Judge Three scored about fifty eight to fifty six. So, by a unanimous point decision, presenting to you the winner, 
ladies and gentlemen, Eric Colley. Well, the official verdict has been declared and Eric Colley is the winner by a unanimous points decision, much to the chagrin of many of the fans here.